My name's Lucy. So, I'm in California trying to get a first glimpse of the mountain range I've come here to cross. Can you believe that that's California? Neither could I. And of course it's not just me on this adventure. It's me, Tim, and Matt. We've had some good times together, but this was going to be different. I feel like I should make this an arty film or, you know, say a poem or something. Maybe read a motivational quote. But the truth is, I just want to remember this adventure for what it was. Because it unexpectedly became one of the best adventures I've had. Just three friends, some skis, and the mountains. The Sierra Nevada is a major mountain range of Western North America. It runs along the eastern edge of the state of California. Our goal? To traverse this mountain range, the High Sierra. Setting off from the desert is kind of surreal. You know, you've got your skis on your back, you're in search for this snow you've heard so much about. Going up Shepherd's Pass. Massive bags. Shepherd's Pass, rightfully named. And it's good to be out. Man, snow. California skiing in June, that's epic, that's crazy. We've made it to our first place where we're going to camp, surrounded by bears, but um, we're not afraid. Wow. I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've sought shelter. Under a, under a rock, <laughs> because who knew in California not only does it have snow, <laughs> it has rain too. <laughs> Just waking up from our first night on the trail. Um, I think the mornings are probably my best, best time because you wake up and you feel good and you can't wait for the day to start. And you get views like this. And I feel lucky to be here, so so glad I'm here. The area had had a ton of snow this year, and because we were so late in the season, it meant that hot Californian sun was on that snow, making for unstable conditions. We had to really watch our step. Oh, we finally got to some downhill skiing. We just skied down and covered loads of distance in like a couple of minutes, and this is why we've come here. We are in heaven right now. We are going down, but we are skiing. Ah. Ah. Woo! Very good. Honestly, probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. <laughs> Flat, but we cover ground fast when you're moving on skis. That was taking like two hours to walk that oh, way. Yeah. Like... I have to say, this moment right here, it's one I'll remember forever. And our camp spot right now. Have you seen it? It is the stuff that dreams are made of. We were woken by the calls of coyotes. Now, we were in the wilderness. And boy, did it feel like it. Finally, it was time for some real skiing. Okay, not the most stylish skiing in the world. More like survival skiing with our massive packs, but fun nonetheless. It wasn't all fast S turns, of course. Frustratingly, there was quite a lot of boot packing thrown in. We were heading for the pass to the left of Milestone Peak. And this point doesn't look so bad here, but believe me, it was some sketchy snow. Ooh, so I just did the most gnarliest off-piece thing I've ever done. And it is hard work, snow, but it's good. Covered a lot of distance quickly. Route finding was one of the biggest challenges of this trip. 
finding the safest pass to climb up, but also knowing that it was safe to ski down as well. It's not like there's anyone else to help you out. It's you and your team and the wilderness. And that's what makes it all the better. So we've had a big ski up. Um, yesterday we went the wrong way. So today we had to correct that. Uh, we had to poon it up, cramp on it up. And uh, now we're back to where we were um, earlier yesterday afternoon. We're trying to find a way to get up a pass without too much avalanche risk. So we skied, I think, all over there, all the way down. It's pretty cool. And here we are, skiing up to a pass nicknamed Not As Steep As It Looks Pass. We think this is the right one, but once again the snow is too dangerous, too slabby to tackle this late in the morning. These turns on this face were some of my most frightening ones ever. The slope was moving and making whoomph noises beneath us. Can't do it, so I'm having to call it a day early. I have to ration food now because we're way behind schedule. I'm going to try and tackle this in the morning. Yeah, this place is crazy. Man. I'm not sure what the American map system As we look at the map and at the face above us, something just doesn't seem right. We think it's too risky for us all to climb up safely with no ropes. And so we have to make the difficult decision to go with an exit strategy, which means adding a whole week to our journey. This means a week without food and rationing fuel. We use more fuel melting snow for our hot water, but getting water can prove tricky. So we come up with some inventive ways of getting it. Just as we abandon our original route, we see a pass that we think might be doable. It might actually be not as steep as it looks pass. We'd soon find out if it was. Every step we put in was put in with caution. And we really had to make sure that the skis on our back was balanced as we committed to the climb. And as we got higher and higher, the slope got steeper. But sure enough, the snow held and our 4am start was worth it. You did it. We got to the top of the dreaded, not as steep as it looks fast, it actually is as steep as it looks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Perfect, there wasn't one foot where it was like. <sighs> oh, like coming up here? Yeah. yeah. It was hard going, but safe, yeah. you know? It's like exactly what the doctor ordered. Exactly, yeah, two steps and like, yes. And then like, yeah. Woo! The, the last bit, like yeah. after that rock. Yeah, like... yeah, if you slipped there, if you had bad snow. Oh yeah, if that, yeah. If it that would be nice as well, front pointing would have been hell on the. Car. Yeah. It had been an epic morning, but of course there was still a lot of ground to cover. We have almost crossed the main mountain range. Woohoo! We were coming to the last leg of our Sierra adventure. We thought we had it easily in the bag. It really felt like we had time to appreciate where we were now. Take it all in. Ski in a way we'd never skied before. It felt so free, so wild, and so perfect. But you never know what's around the corner, and the next thing we know, the area that Tim is standing on gives way. I fell through this fucking hole. But then I tried to pull my leg out and like, I couldn't move, like full force. I ended up having to like lean back so I didn't fall through the hole. Like, Jeez, like dig, shovel out. Digged with one hand, hold the pole with the other, like Lucy was holding that. That's diabolical. I stepped on it and it just went poof, and this massive gush of water started coming towards me. <laughs> yeah, it's gnarly. <laughs> Look, this is like classic, right? This is like 10,000 yeah. south facing. Yeah. Like we're in the danger zone. Yeah. We've been forced to put up the tent again because snow conditions have meant that it is too dangerous to go any further. So, again we are waiting because we keep getting stopped in our tracks. 
We set off early and the last day is finally upon us. I could make a whole film about our dramatic last day. But let's just say there was a whole lot to overcome. Come away from this. Yeah, get away, get off, get off. Yeah. Did you hear that? We should get off the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and it's oh, not even 8 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful day. We put our head down, one ski in front of the other, and just kept on pushing on through the intense Californian heat. High energy levels aren't great, but the fact that we're close means that's where we're getting our motivation from. Oh, whew, what a, an adventure. Not there yet. We've been going over 12 hours. We've just had to cross a really crazy raging waterfall on this crazy bridge that just happened to be there. But we had to figure it out. We have done a lifetime of adventure in just this 12 hours. And we're still not there yet. We're gonna get there though. We are determined to get there tonight. I start to think about what a jam-packed eight days it had been. What we thought was going to be a mini adventure turned into one hell of a journey. This place had been so magical. It really was a paradise that you just work for. I've always been aware of just how short our life is and how important it is to really try and get out there if you can. Really try and get to these wild places and test ourselves and really see what we're capable of. Really live, you know? This trip had just been another reminder of just how incredible this planet was. We need these wild places and they need us. They need us more than ever. And as John Muir once said, when one tugs at a single thing in nature, he finds it attached to the rest of the world. Oh, damn it, I've only just gone and told you an inspirational quote. Ah, well, I've always been one to end on a little bit of cheese. Oh, we're almost there. After a lot of climbing up and down and all around, we were finally on the home stretch. We made it to the end of the trailhead just before darkness. We'd done it. We'd crossed the high Sierras. And now all we needed to do was hitch a ride. Easy, right? <laughs>